Yo, what's up guys? Sbug here, and today we're gonna be doing a Lamello Ball replica build. I am currently in current gen, so we can't get the exact replica thing, but we will get the shades of Lamello Ball. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this build set, and then I'm gonna show you a way to make this build better if you guys don't wanna have it exactly like lamello ball so first you know we gotta start off with the lamello ball name we can't change that because it's lamello ball you know position point guard of course hand handedness we put at right handed jersey number one then we go to height we got it at six seven weight 180 because that's how much he weighs in i guess in real life i don't know it says that in 2k so i put it at 180 wingspan we put at seven two so maybe he could get a couple blocks and stuff because it's not going to really affect his attributes in the way that we don't want it to body shape i put a solid but you can always change that to define anything you want now we go to the attributes so first things first let's go to ball handle and pass accuracy so ball handle we got to put that at an 88 pass accuracy we put that at a 93 speed with ball we max that out and then let's go to the shooting so shooting we have to have actually we're gonna do shooting last so let's go to physicals physical speed we're gonna put this at an 84 acceleration we're gonna put at an 84 strength we're gonna put this at a 50 vertical let's change that to a 79 stamina we're gonna put at a 93 let's go to finishing now and then let's so driving layup we're gonna have it at an 89 Close shot, we're going to put at a 76. Driving dunk, will go to a 71. Standing dunk, we'll put at a 37. Mid-range, we're going to put at a 72. And three-pointer at an 80. So, like, you know, if this was me, I would obviously pick up the mid-range and three-pointer. But to get the shades of LaMelo Ball, we need to have this type of rating because that's his uh, 2K rating. So free throw, we're going to put out a 63. Now let's go to the defense. So perimeter D, we put out a 70. Steel, we can have it at a 68. He does have a higher steal in uh, 2K, but it's just we, we needed to get more mid-range points because I did not want to have a build that only had a, like a 69 mid-range. It didn't look too good. So I had to lower a couple of the, a couple of the defensive things. So throwing a block, we put this at a 47. Defensive rebound, we put that at a 63. And then offensive rebound, we'll put at a 35. Finish it off with a 38 interior defense, and that should be it for the build. So, of course, not the best build. You're going to be a great playmaker, of course, um, for sure. And you'll be able to shoot the three. You'll be able to dunk a little too. So it's not a terrible build. It's a pretty good build. I put the primary takeover as playmaker and secondary takeover as shot creator. So let's complete this build and we're going to get the you've built a inside out playmaker shades of LaMelo Ball, shades of Kirk Heinrich and Tyrese Halliburton. So if you guys want the LaMelo Ball build, this is how you do it for sure. And you'll get all the shades of the correct players. So I'm going to change it up. And I'm going to make it so it's a little bit more playable in arc and my career, stuff like that. So let's try to change some things. So first of all, standing dunk, we don't need this at all. Let's lower something in defense. I think I'm going to lower offensive rebound. Let's just lower it because most of the time when you are playing in uh, in park, usually your sensor is the one that's doing most of that stuff. I'm going to put this at a 36. All right, so let's see we got 13 17 26 and 6 so we have a lot of playmaking badges of course i'm gonna lower pass accuracy to like 90 and i'll keep ball handling at 88 let's do let's get some probably some finishing badges actually uh let's put this at a 75 at least all right 75 mid-range is not bad driving dunk let's put that at a 75 blow shot let's pick that up a bit 78, all right, our badges are not really increasing that much, so eh, we might be stuck at this right here. I don't want to have a crazy dunk, so I'm going to put it like 78, 79 is good, do 90 driving layup, and I think we could just put the rest, we should just put the rest in shooting probably, so let's go to like 83, 3, and then 72 free throw. 
so this is a a better build in my opinion of course mid-range you would want that to go a little higher let me see if i could actually do that the mid-range to go up some more maybe 66 steel 35 interior d like uh 58 defensive rebound let's lower strength a bit because yeah all right that's that's fine and then let's go to all right i guess that's really it we could do <laughs> um we could pick up the steel and let's pick up perimeter d like that so i would do something like this probably and we could still pick up the free throw so this is something i would probably do to play with this would be really good in my career and it's gonna be good in park for sure you have a great layup so you'll be able to get some good contact layups and stuff you have a great three-pointer 83 is more than you need honestly 76 mid-range you know of course we would like that to be way higher but that's the highest that we could really go i think realistically unless we like want to like just tank the defense and i don't really want to because defense is important in park and in my career so i'm gonna leave it like that let's see if we still get shades of lamello ball inside out playmaker and we do still get it actually so we get it but it's gonna be at the lower level of shades so you know if you want it to be like exactly like lamello ball i would go for the first build and if you want a more playable build, I'd go for the second one. So next thing we're going to do is just check out some badges and maybe just throw up a few shots with him in the testing zone. So I'm going to put Fearless Finisher at a silver acrobat. Uh, I'll put Slithery at like a bronze first. Let's do Limitless Takeoff at like a silver. Posterizer. Put this at a two. Two right here. So... I'm gonna get Slithery at a silver too. And Masher, let's get this set also. And we could either do Fast Twitch or Aerial Wizard. And I think I'm gonna do Fast Twitch because I, I don't really see Lamelo Ball doing too many alley oops. I know he can for sure, but he doesn't really do it like that. So for the shooting, we go Agent 3. Let's give that a silver. Midi Magician, we'll put out a silver. Guard up, put out gold. Flamore, we'll put out gold. Let's go to Limitless Range, Deadeye, Blinders, and probably Space Creator to finish it off. So you could lower the MIDI Magician and get a better thing. Maybe like something like uh, something like Volume Shooter you could pick up with two badges. Or you can just pick up Blinders to the Silver version. And I would probably go for maybe Blinders, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go for blinders, silver. Going to playmaking, we're going to put the ankle breaker gold, clamp breaker gold, handle for days, silver, quick first step gold, vice grip, put it as silver at least, because that's like the very minimum. Special delivery. Let's do, uh, actually, I'm going to change some of these. I'm going to put this at silver, silver, so we have more badges. Let's put this at bronze at least. Dimer, we're going to put at silver for now. Just going to check it out. Special delivery, we could put at gold. Let's put unpluckable and then let's do something like that. Yeah, this is something I would probably do because you'll be able to ball handle really good and you'll be able to still do some fancy passes. Going to the defensive badges. Of course, we got to put clamps on and I, I would put glove because he is going to steal the ball a lot. So it would be good to have him at, with glove at least. And then you could put pick dodger because you're going to be a point guard. Anko races at silver, and then I'll probably finish it off with either Menace or Interceptor. So it's up to you guys, of course. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do Menace because I feel like I do decent defense because I don't usually have players that have too many, too much defense, and I usually do pretty good. So I'd put Menace because it helps boost up the defensive abilities in game so of course we use the lamello ball jump shot let's go test this out let's go into the golden state warriors the team that they were supposed to be in so i think i'm playing small forward or shooting guard okay i'm playing shooting guard right now hello everyone yeah you're not gonna shoot that over me let's see so you could probably get the three and look we got to steal instantly with lamello let's get a pick and roll set 
You know, that's what Lamelo likes to do. He has a great ball handling. Let's go. Look at that pass. Lamelo ball with the pass to Draymond Green. All right, it's taking me a while to get used to this jump shot. Not going to lie. Trying to get it one shot. There we go. Green release. I was trying to get one shot. And we got it right there. Get that layup in. All right, let's finish this off. A nice pass. Give it a bounce pass to James Wiseman, and he finishes it. And that's going to be it for today's video. We ended up getting the Lamelo Ball replica build, and let me know who else you guys want to see. Let me know what else you guys want to see in 2K23. Any rebuilds you guys want to see, any players you want me to recreate and try to get a replica build of as well. That's going to be it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.